So what is the goal of any inner healing, any deliverance, any prayer ministry, maybe we could say any discipleship or pastoral care? I think ultimately it's that we would grow up, <laughs> that we would mature progressively more and more of our heart would come to know the love of God, the finished inclusive work of Christ, and we would grow up into the full stature of sons that we are called into. Everything from the fivefold ministry to the work of the cross to the ongoing work of the church is to have us grow up and mature into love, into the fullness of our humanity, capacity, and destiny as human beings, not just individually, but corporately in, a, in society and nationally. So for me, that's the goal. In the midst of this, though, we can get hung up on some things that I dare say we shouldn't get hung up on, but they're still important. And one of those things is this uh, whole area of the demonic, evil spirits, deliverance, exorcism, and all the things that go with that. And as, even as I say that, I know that pictures might be coming into your mind of men and women at altar calls in churches praying for people as they scream, maybe heads <laughs> spinning on movie sets. Maybe you have seen a gentle, beautiful kind of deliverance that happens as a byproduct of someone's heart and life being restored to Christ. I would like to say... And I'm going to, happy to go on the record of, of saying this, that as soon as you become a Christian, all evil spirits leave. And all evil influence, both generational and incidental in your own life, uh, leave. That you are never hassled again and you are fully delivered. Well, uh, I'm yet to meet the kind of person that comes to salvation and instantly walks on water, instantly heals every sick that they see, and is living in the full, resurrected, glorified life that Jesus came to give them. It's just not the case. And we can declare it, decree it, and talk about it as much as we want. But I'm yet to see that. Do we see fractions of it? Yes. Do we see portions of it? Yes. But again, is not the goal that we grow into love, that we grow up as spiritual beings working with Christ to be fully human? I think it is. And so I am going, I'm doing two things. They're both starting on Wednesday. One of them is a continuation. Uh, one of the lessons that we're teaching as part of our spiritual considerations in mental health as part of our Teleos Academy. It's a, it's a six-week um, sort of sub-program that we're running. And you can just attend that class if you want, where we're just, we're going to be talking about demonic attachment. And I'm going to unpack some tools and ways and insights and theology that has worked for me in the prayer ministry room and for the hundreds of clients that I've um, walked with. So Natalie and I are going to be sharing with you on that on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, which is really, really early in the morning if you're from the U.S. But if you register for that class, we'll send you the recording. And you may be interested in some of the previous classes we did as well. Also on the 12th um, of June, I am starting a five-week series at 10 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, which will be evening in the U.S. on Tuesday the 11th, so you can tune in live. And I am delivering again, I think for the fourth or fifth time, maybe sixth time, our integrated introduction to integrated inner healing mentoring class, where I will introduce you to different teachings, different approaches, uh, also some theory and theology um, behind inner healing and prayer ministry. And so if you're interested, if you're a pastor, a counselor, a therapist, somebody interested in prayer ministry and helping people, this is the course that you want to do so you can go, okay, this is what I understand now. Here are the different sections. Here are different approaches. These are the, the strengths that each of them have. This is the type of approach. And I'm interviewing some people that have worked with some of those approaches almost exclusively for a long time. And then we're going to work through those things as well every week. So that's a five-week course. Um, so you can find, about, find out about the introduction course 
through davidtenson.com. The link is at the top. Or if you want to attend this class on demonic attachment, then you can go to the teleosacademy.com um, website. I'm going to put the descriptions here, uh, the links here, as you'll see, and also in the description of this video. Um, thanks for taking time to listen to this. I hope to see you at one of those classes. The Teleos Academy classes start at uh, a zero dollar contribution if you want. Um, we have a recommended price you'll see on the site, but we don't want this we don't want a price to get in the way of attending this this class. The Integrated Inner Healing Mentoring School um, is $199. I think the early bird specials just finished. Uh, 199 Australian, which is about 150 US, I think, for the five weeks. And uh, lots and lots of hours of video and learning together there as well. So I look forward to seeing you in one of those classes, perhaps. Shalom.